I uh, showed you how to design a meter system um, with the pulse meters going into a Mac 36NL controller and also connecting a ISMA 8i IP module into the system and then connecting to that an ISMA 8i uh, RS485 Modbus module. So I didn't go all the way through it all. I showed you each aspect of installing, commissioning a station, installing it all. But here is the final uh, version with the graphics. Now you may want to go back one and look at the starting a new project with the ISMA 8i IP and 8i RS485 and Mac 36 which is in my videos but we can just have a quick look through this now so this is the front page that the engineer will see or the client and they wanted me to change uh, or they want to change the location and the meter information so all I've done there is put a box in that they can actually type in that um, and also if they click the box it will bring up a pop-up pop-up's gone to my other screen I'll just drag it across brings up a pop-up where we'll have the meter total again they can click that so let's just click that and let's just put PMK at the end so that's now changed it, the information uh, of the meter. Uh, they can put the meter total, the meter total is going to be the total of the meter. And then of course, the history um, of what the meter has consumed. You can also put a preset value in. So let's just put, click on that and put a preset value in of five kilowatts. Okay, and then put preset value in so there you go so once you've connected the meter you can put in the meter information um, the value and that will be the start and then any pulse coming in will just add to that let me just uh, take that back out again and then reset values once the engineer set everything up uh, we remove this now this is just one page for all the meters um, so there's no there's not every single meter you need to change every single page so I would expect them to delete this information at the bottom once they've set up all the meters they could leave it if they wanted to or they could put a blank box over the top of it so that it's still there um, but we just have to remove the black box but we don't want the client actually resetting values or putting presets in we, all we want the client to do is read the total meter value and this is just added extra of uh, what's consumption over the uh, the different periods so we close that as you can see this one's also renamed now meter PMK let's put that back to meter one He also wanted to see the networks, or the engineers to see the networks, so I've put a network checker button up there. So again, that would bring a pop-up, it's just gone to my other page. I'll bring that across. And currently, I've still got uh, one is my ATI connected, and then the other one is the RS485 one's address one one's address two on that IP address these can be changed so if I it's because we don't know what the IP addresses are yet but if they wanted to put that to a 10 and then save box that now is on address 10 and as you can see it's gone offline put that back to there save so they can change the um, IP addresses, they can change the Modbus address if they want to, but all I ask them to do, or I will be asking them to do, is not to change any values, uh, sorry, any wording in the logic. 
but let's have a look at the logic so I don't want them to change any of this wording here and they're not going to see this they're going to see the graphic and I don't want them to change any of these wordings or even these don't want any of this change whatsoever so there's your Modbus TCP network that's your ISMA network but as you know we've only got to four digital inputs so we can only use four of them as a counter I haven't actually included that in this main sheet because I think they're going to go to a JS8000 and not use a Mac 36 anymore they were going to use a Mac 36 because they had 16 uh, universal inputs but they cannot be pulse counters it can only be digital inputs so um, they'll be adding another two more units so location 4 where the Mac 36 is um, they will be adding more uh, modules so the logic I've put them in locations so I've done a, another screen per location just ease for the engineer that's all so you can actually look at all the meters on a location those are the wireless moximeters and then the main logic has them all together again I haven't just put every single one in if we go into edit mode you will see I've just put the locations in so I can move that box there so let's just uh, delete that out and show you how I did that files px and I made the location for just drag it across onto the desktop and that's now in there so I did a graphic per location location one location two three four five now what we need or what, the PX file so let's go to location one PX file let's look at that that is actually yes so the meter information there you can see that I've done the, the set so we can just press the button and it will go straight to set but I've also displayed the value um, without the set so value binding and action binding and then with that we've got the pop-up of the meter so this pop-up of the meter is only one page I'll show you the page now it's this one here meter PX that's it now there's no values there because it's it, it's basically attached to all these folders so let's go into a meter location one this meter here now the values are in there now if we edit that you will see slot meter total so what it's doing it's reading the information from inside that folder but I've only got one graphic so whatever I change it will change on all the graphics and I'll give you an example of that if I edit that one graphic and put in there where we got the last 15 minutes I'll just put PMK at the end of that save it and then go to another meter you see that they all say PMK okay, it's the same graphic for all the meters and I'll show you how I did that because you you do exactly the same for when you're doing fan coils you won't make one graphic per fan coil you will just uh, you will make one graphic for all the fan coils or all the fan coil types so let's just right click that views and AX slot sheet 
let's take out the view for that which is this here see this meter px view I'm just going to delete that so it hasn't got a view now so when I click on that I actually see the wire sheet but if I click on that one I see the uh, graphic so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make I'm going to add that so that when they click on it they view the graphic so views new view I'm going to call that meter using hxpx media I think the default comes up as workbench don't use that use hxpx media and then that will be the place but I'm just going to double find double check it again meter go OK and then very important press reuse don't press overwrite if you press overwrite you've got a blank page and everything's got a blank page so always press reuse and there you go it's uh, the graphics attached to that folder and it's reading the information that's in that folder so I can, can add more information if I need to but all they want is the meter topo so that, that they can view um, the home page is exactly what it is the home page now um, that is also tied into this this view here for logic so you can click on the folder logic and that puts the home page on there now what I did with the ASIC network I just put the network page there so I can click on that and network graphic I can click on that network graphic that network graphic um, these are all the PX file folders I and mean, then of course we've got a NAV file the NAV file how that works is when a user is I've made a user so I've made a role user and I've got a user service user and inside that there's a place to put a NAV file there so but what happens with that NAV file what I do with that NAV file let's open that up for you is I point it to slot drivers logic so the logic folder that's all I've pointed it to and when you press the logic folder so when they go in and log in they will see this page so they've got the meter value and of course they've got the location that they can edit and once they've edited that location it also edits it on the pop-up as well I think that's it simple enough I enjoyed doing that one Sorry, right, the pop-up's gone off onto, onto the other screen. I'm thinking you can see it, but you can't. All right, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.